Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can you remove storyboards from your application so you can create your views programmatically. Now, first thing to note over here is that this is not a Surf UI application, but a UI kit application. And one of the things I would like to mention over here is that I am currently working on a small course on UI kit, which will cover some of the projects like maps, uh, core data, budget SAP, and also APIs. All right, so I am currently working on it. So hopefully it will be available soon. And that's why I'm working on UI kit applications. So you can see that when you create a UI kit application, it will come with a couple of storyboards. Now, I don't really have a love or hate relationship with storyboards. I have used storyboards in many successful projects, but let's just say that you decided that you don't want to use storyboards in your application. How do you remove it from your project? The first thing is just deleting the storyboard file. So once again, I'm not saying storyboards are right or wrong, but I'm just saying that maybe you decided that you don't want to use storyboards. So let's delete that move to trash and also you can delete the launch screen also if you want to. I mean, if you want to create your own launch screen, that's a different idea. But if you want to keep your launch screen, then don't delete that. Okay, now we've created, deleted the storyboards, but that alone is not going to fix our problems. Meaning if I go ahead and run the application, in our application, it is still going to be looking for that main storyboard. And since we just deleted it, it's not able to find it and uh, well, it's not going to like it, all right? So you can see that our application is trying to run. Okay, great, and it blow up. If you look at the error, you can see right here, it's still trying to find the main storyboard, the one that we just got, just deleted. So we need to go to the other different places to make sure that our storyboard is deleted. So let's go to our project. And in our project, we can see that this is all the project that we have. So let's go ahead and jump into info.plist file. Now there are a couple of different places where you have to remove it. The first one is right here, which is calling the main storyboard file base name and main. So this is our storyboard. We can just remove that particular key that's gone. Another part will be in the application scene manifest. So we can go over there. And if you drill down, you can actually see another place where they have mentioned the storyboard. So we would like to remove that from there also. All right, done. Okay. If you go to build settings and search over here for main, all right, then you will find this particular key. Now, the good thing about this is that since we have removed it at a bunch of places, this key, and if you see that, currently does not really have any value. It's empty. And make sure it is empty. I think in your application, it might say main. If it is saying main, go ahead and remove it. You can't really delete that, but just make sure it is cleaned up, okay? I'm gonna go into my view controller and going to change the background color to something so that I know that this particular you know, view is getting, uh, getting attached and it is getting displayed. Right now, if we run this, this is what we see, some sort of a warning kind of thing. It doesn't display our view. So let's go ahead and jump into scene delegate. And in the scene delegate, what we will do is if you go into this will connect to function, we will create a window scene over here. Using the window scene, we can also construct a UI window and you will see that the UI window does actually take in the scene. So over here, we can pass the window scene. Next, we can go ahead and set the root view controller. The root view controller of the application will be your main controller, the first controller, the root controller, which in this case is just a view controller. That is actually the name of the class right over here. Now you can rename this to anything you want, but we're just gonna keep the same default. Next, we're gonna say window dot 
and we're trying to say make key visible. So this will be the key window and it will be visible. And finally, we're going to assign it to the window property, which is already declared on line number 12. Having those changes, let's go ahead and run it again. Now you can see that it is working fine correctly, okay? But we're still getting this kind of a weird error. So probably we have made mistakes somewhere. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. One of the things that I've noticed is that that particular error just kind of goes away after you run it the second time. You can see that now I didn't really change much. I mean, I didn't really change anything. And now you can see that the error, the error that we were receiving or some sort of a message is actually gone. And now your application is completely free with the, from the storyboards and you can now create your programmatic UI. Once again, this video is not like to say that the, uh, the storyboards are bad or something like that. I have created a lot of applications with storyboards, but if your team is deciding and saying that we are going to create a prog programmatic UI, then you don't really need storyboards. And that is what I'm showing that, okay, you can delete storyboards. But this video is once again, not about the storyboards are bad or good and things like that. This is just to say that if you decided that you're not going to use storyboards, then this is the approach you can take to remove storyboards from your application. And you can see that now our application is working perfectly fine. And over here in your view controller, you will start with, well, adding your programmatic UI, text box, list, whatever you need. So hopefully this small video was useful to show you that how to remove storyboards from your existing application. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out the thanks button, which YouTube has recently added. Make sure to thanks and you can donate some money that can be used to for me to drink coffee. Uh, I love coffee. So thanks button is to show your support. Uh, any donation amount is helpful. If you're interested in learning more about different courses that I offer, you can go to Udemy and you can check out my courses. I have a brand new course on MV design pattern. I have courses on Combine, uh, Reality Kit, Async Await, Core Data, and so much more. So definitely check out my courses. Thank you so much for watching this video.